not able to join us, I couldn't um, reach you for some reason. Um, but we should do that again soon. I don't know, maybe early next week, because I have like the first part of the week off these days. Um, I think maybe Wednesday, although Wednesdays are really the days I have to do stuff. Um, but hopefully I'll do stuff, and I'll have Wednesday free. Um, so Earth Week's been really cool over here. Oh, I haven't watched your videos. Um, well, I mean, I watched the ones that I was supposed to watch before Tuesday, I think. So I don't really know what's up with you guys. I hope, I hope you guys are excellent. Yes. Um, Earth Week has been cool. Uh, in, in, um, many ways. There have been some cool talks. The, um, Stand Up Economist was great. Um... A lot of the... I, I talked with um, Alexis a little bit about Valve. Valve is a cool company, but they didn't really talk about environmental stuff. They mostly talked about education through games, and there's a uh, Steam for Schools thing, which isn't super big, and they don't know if it's really going to be big because they don't have any managers. <laughs> it's just 325 people who get in groups and do stuff. That's how... Ah, that's how Valve works, and they do so much cool stuff, so... Um, yeah. So that's why we don't have more games in their franchises, I guess, is because they they can work on a game and then just go join a different group and <laughs> not work on that game anymore. Um, so, so then yesterday they were talking about, well, some, uh, three people came in and they were talking about um, the, the um, thing on the voting where you can vote to uh, make, make, uh, whoever it is who would be responsible for that label, well, label genetically engineered stuff. Um, and I've been, I've been torn on that because I'm not against genetic engineering, and I feel like um, it can solve a lot of our problems. Um, and if we label stuff, then people might be overly afraid of it, because I don't think, um, I think each strain has to be um, studied individually, but I don't think they necessarily pose a threat to human health, because we've been modifying crops for a very long time. Um, so I'm not afraid of genetic engineering, but Monsanto is not the best company in the world. But, okay, um, when I went to con um, Conservation Remix, they had a wonderful argument for and against genetic engineering. Um, here, it was just against it. It was, they just presented to us a conspiracy theory, and I did not want to be the one person in the room who said, wow, where's the defense? Where, <laughs> Where's the other side of the argument? Because you're telling us lies, you don't have any facts. They didn't have a PowerPoint, they didn't have any references. They were just spouting some statistics and telling anecdotes and stuff. Um, which, anecdotes are powerful, you know, when you're um, house-sitting on a farm and you see a the uh, pesticides truck come up, that has a skull and crossbows on it, and they, you know, rope off the field for three days after spraying the pesticides. That's that's not necessarily a good thing. So, um, but they were mostly saying that the whole point of genetic engineering, that all genetic engineering is owned by Monsanto, and Monsanto genetically engineers crops to require more pesticides, because Monsanto also owns the pes pesticides. So, you'll buy their crops, you'll buy their pesticides. The pesticides are designed to make you sick, so then you buy their drugs, which they also own. That was the ex that was what they were telling us, <laughs> and I couldn't even begin to, oh, it made me really, really angry. I know that we can't trust everything that Monsanto says, but I also know that's a, that corporations are run by people. So, um, yeah, and, and scientists are the ones who are coming up with... Uh, Wazoo does a lot of genetic engineering. Um, there are a lot of... And, you know, yes, in an ideal world, we would um, be able to use natural strains of crops and have biodiversity and not lose any species species, and not, use, not have to use pesticides on them. But um, that's not happening because the pesticides have made more stronger diseases and... and um, pests are worse now, so that's primarily why we're increasing our use of pesticides, um, and we're losing a lot of strength in our strains of plants, 
so we're losing biodiversity. So really, what can we do when all the plants that we have are getting worse and worse? We have to start engineering them. So, yep. Um, it doesn't work out quite that way. It's not perfect. So, um, but after that, I was like, oh, I, the one good thing about that is I'm buying organic now because they did have some scary stories about pesticides. Um, see, but I would choose genetically engineered food over a non-organic food that um, was not genetically engineered and uses a lot of pesticides. And apples, this is not a fact that I got from them. I didn't get any facts from them. But um, apples are the second worst food for you, coming after microwave popcorn because of the carcinogenic pesticides in them. It's comparable to the carcinogenic vapors from microwave popcorn. <laughs> um, and it's really... See, and this is like the whole point of environmental economics, is that you're weighing risks in the future with prices now. And it's hard to pay more now um, when you think that, oh, well, these pesticides could potentially give me cancer. 50 years later, um, but you don't, they don't affect your health now, they don't seem to, you don't taste anything different, the apples look better, <laughs> they taste better when they're not organic sometimes. Um, so you get the food that's, or I get the food that's cheapest, and say, and I don't wash them, I say, oh, it's fine, pesticides aren't that bad, so, so I need to eat differently, and, um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, that's that's um, been my week. It's been good. I've been staying at home quite a lot. Um, and I, I don't know why I didn't do this video on Tuesday. I was here on Tuesday. Mm, I was trying to be productive on Tuesday. Tuesday I do get a lot done, actually. But tonight I need to do so much. Time for another energy drink. My, my ban, self-ban on those is. I have a cool potato. I don't know where it's gone, but I used to have a cool potato that I got from the um, slow food movement in Seattle. That he was one of the people who was talking about food. Um, anyway, it's a very small potato. It's like that big. So, so have really great weeks, and I will um, talk to you both sometime. Hopefully, we can all get together and play something soon. And utilize my uh, my awesome internet, at my parents' house. My parents also the internet, I suppose. Okay. Adios, guys. Thanks for watching late. <laughs>